what's up guys hope everybody is doing well welcome to my channel like subscribe hit the notification button i have got a great great matchup for you this evening i'm doing this video a little bit late so i'm not full of energy is what i'm usually am but i'm going to try to give that project that good energy out i've made my little notes here because you know there's so much facts you can't remember everything and you're uh, constantly thinking about all these other fighters. Sometimes the facts can get really jumbled up easily, right? Make sure you watch this video till the end for the algorithm so I can boost this channel up. Much appreciated. Right, let me get into it. These are the two guys that I like. One is active, one is retired. It's none other than King Saul Canelo Alvarez versus none other than the undefeated the charismatic, the humble, none other than, see if you can guess it, Andre Ward. And you know what I like about Andre Ward? Most fighters don't know when to retire. He retired undefeated. He went out on an L, which was wicked. I like to see that. The rubber, then the fighters, you know, like the past, they sell by day and they just get smashed to pieces. They can get brain damage later on. They could have health issues later on. So it's good that he reti retired and he, tr what was great about him, he transitioned into commentating. Like that, that's, that's what, and he's smart man, fantastic, great commentator, the way he uh, talks up about fights and breaks them down. And that's where I wanna be one day, I wanna be like him, articulate fights good. That's why I'm making these videos to get better and more comfortable. I know I'm not, I. Whoa, I'm not even near that level, man. I'm here, man. That guy's all the way up there. So hopefully, we get, even if we get halfway the way he commentates on videos, that'd be fantastic for me. Right, Canelo's got a 62 and a 2 record. Great resume. Tough. Fights really well. Strong. He wears his opponent's stand. Good movement. He, he likes, he steps it up later on in the rounds. Right, and he's five foot eight. He's coming to the end of his career now, but he's still strong. Everybody thinks he's declining, and even if he's declined a little bit, it's normal, but he's still strong. Andre Ward, gold medalist, two division unified champion. He held a super middleweight for about six years, and the lightweight title was unified for about one year. Uh, phenomenal, he fights great on the inside, outside, I mean, I remember at one point his inside game wasn't good. Then a few years later, it got really good. And they was telling him, oh, you're phenomenal. You fight phenomenally on the inside. But he said to them, he went, yeah, it might look good now. It's the finished product. But I trained for four years to get that good on the inside. So it didn't come overnight. So he's super dedicated to his craft. Made great boxer to watch. He didn't get the recognition that he really deserved because... He weren't loud and flashy and trash talking. He was just a fighter. He got in there and done the business and got out. So I'm really happy for him that he retired undefeated uh, and all his faculties here in order. But he should have get more praise. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. And uh, my take on the fight, if these two actually fought each other, right? Personally, my belief is, well, can it, they were supposed to fight each other at one point. Canelo was getting a little bit pissed off about it, telling him to shut it. And he was, he was going like, to come back out of retirement, apparently, to fight him. But he was inactive for a long time, and Andre Ward is not a stupid guy. You know what I'm saying? He ain't active. He ain't going to come back out of retirement unless he's 100% on. So he didn't come back from retirement, which was good. But in his prime, I think if they fought, uh, Andre Ward would win the fight. It would probably go to a decision. Not a knockout because Canelo is super tough, but he'd win the decision. It, Andre Ward is just too strong, man. Not too strong, like he's a box, he's just got a completely good boxing technique. Hands are always up, very good defensively, and he can judge distance really well. And that's the most important thing in a fight, man. All you have to do is just slightly just move out the way or move forward, move to the side, move to the back, move to the ball, and then you just miss it. If you can, if you can find that range, well, they can't hit you and you can hit them, you're going to win the fight. And he was great at doing that. Right, that's my take on the fight. Right? I'm done. I've, oh, man, the notes gone all over everywhere, everywhere, man. 
I'm done for this video. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Right, stay lucky, stay blessed. Have a good evening.